Hey, it's Joel. Welcome to 3D Printing Nerd Studios, probably powered by PCB Way. 8% off, link in the description. You know what to do. Check this out. Look. Look at this. This giant pile of parts is for a specific project that I have in mind, and I want to bring you along on the ride. And these were printed while I was gone. I was gone for a few days. Producer David and I had to visit New Orleans, and I set these to print while we were away. These are for a project in the loft, and I can't wait to show you. They were on the H2D, and this is one of those BQ plates that holds onto stuff, even, even when it's cold. So let's get them off the plate, and let's talk about a project. Three, two, one. The project I have in mind is this room. I'm gonna turn it into my office. I've already got my PC back there. I got that from Puget Systems back in 2017. The problem is I need to get wired internet into here. I need to get ethernet into here. And that actually comes from right back there. Now, come with me. I'm gonna show you where my internet comes from. And please don't be too harsh. I am amateur at best at this. Be kind. It's right there. That's it. That's my networking right there. Yes, I need a networking rack, but you know, first things first, I wanna get internet to the other room. And in order to do that, I need to bring a cable from here over there. The cable I'm gonna use though is 10 gig. Right now, the 10 gig cable I have is SFP plus. I think that's what you call it. It's fiber and it's this tiny little cable. It's gotta go from here to that other room and then it's gonna give me at least fast networking to the Ubiquity Dream Machine that I have and off of that, I've got their NAS system. So my idea would be to get really fast access to this because that has all the drives in it and then from the computer, I can consume footage and audio and whatever and put it onto the NAS really, really fast and then via remote access, I can get it off of here from anywhere. We also need to solve the issue of Wi-Fi. Yeah, see that right there? That, that puck, that is the ubiquity wireless access point that I'm using. It's just up on a shelf against a stone wall. That can't be good for the radio signals, but I have a better idea for a place where it's gonna go. Yeah, see that, that brace right there, that beam? That beam holds this wall to this wall to make it nice and sturdy. And it connects right at one of the walls of where the office is. So here's the plan. We're gonna take 10 gig internet from there and via a fiber optic cable, we're gonna mount it to that wall. We're gonna go through that wall and then we're gonna bring it into this place, my studio, which is gonna be like a command center. And then from here, we're gonna take ethernet right out that window. Not the window precisely, but that wall, and then we can route that ethernet over to the beam right there and rescue this poor little Wi-Fi access point. And we're gonna use 3D printing to do it all. Look at that blue light. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. And just like that, we're done. We're done. I can't believe I got this done. It is, it is almost one o'clock in the morning. And when you start squirreling away on a project, you, you can't stop. You just can't stop. And you gotta take advantage of that creative energy. And you, you have to use it. I'm on the roll. I'm on the roll. Ooh, it's dark out here. But look at up here, look at up here, there we go. Let's see, right there, you can see it. You can see all of that 10 gig fiber line going through the hole in the wall over there and then coming out right there. It's in a pile and I know I have to manage that a little bit better, but wire management is never complete. Uh, oh, you know what, also out there where I had to run the ethernet for the ubiquity uh, access point, I created these little things the pieces that I printed originally that I used up there, uh, they weren't gonna work for this. So I, I created these. It, it was five minutes in Fusion 360. I will add those to printables or something like that because why not? Also, uh, this is gonna be my, my office, but I wanna show you something. That is a 24 port Ubiquity Pro switch. It's got PoE on all 24 ports 
and it's got two 10 gig SFP Plus ports. Now, I'm using it because 10 gig comes in from the Dream Machine, 10 gig goes out to my PC, and then this PoE Ethernet cable that I made goes out to the Ubiquiti access point. This feels like overkill. It's too much, it's too much. If you have suggestions for something that can satisfy these requirements with a few extra ethernet ports, let me know in the comments because I would, I would love to know more. I am thirsty, I am tired, and I'm just gonna go home. I, you can, when you're wire managing, when you're 3D printing, you know, you, you get the creative juices flowing, you get the project done, you can clean up the next day. Yeah, t cleaning up is for tomorrow, Joel. Uh, listen, thanks for coming along on this journey. Thanks for letting me tell the story and helping me get past the finish line. And if you've got some crazy wire management ideas that involve 3D printing, let me know down below. Uh, if you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Bye for gosh, you believe in. Print all the things. I was just gonna say, stay hydrated. And as always, high five.